Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Mark is back again. So abruptly interrupted a moment ago, I ran out of space on my recorder. And so I'm now back to finish. The power is with the people. Now, we were talking about basically the problems that we have in the United States of America, which is representative of problems that we have all over the globe. I was thinking about how much time we spend at odds with one another. Uh, just deprogrammed all the way from the original program that we had of having peace and prosperity and heaven and nest. <clears throat> it was so wonderful back then, but someone came by and tricked us and said that there was a better way, our way, and we seem to have bought into that lie, still believing it, even though constantly uh, failing. We just refuse to be prodigal and keep on trying to keep on thinking that we're going to run into it one day. But at the same time, ladies and gentlemen, we're blind to understand that there are other things that's happening in the world. While we are arguing over those things that to some of us really don't matter, but it matters to a lot, there are those who it really matters to. What about our brothers and sisters that are going through crisis? I mean, natural disasters, the hurricanes, where they're losing everything, their towns, their businesses their lives work, the things that, ever, that they have accumulated give them some kind of value, all gone. Whether it was the, the wind blew it away or whether the waters came and washed it away or whether the earth quaked and shook it away or whether the volcanoes came and burned it away. All of these things, my friend, the wildfires, I mean, these things are happening and people are losing everything. And on top of us trying to say we got to do things better for people who haven't really gone through any of those kinds of disasters, people who have just don't have a job, people who are just struggling trying to make it from day to day. Why? Because of the system. I know we try to blame them, but it's not them. It's the system that we operate under. And the reason that we operate on the system that we operate on is because we don't know any better. We do not know any better. We are constantly believing that others are better than us. We are constantly believing that others... Look, what, what did they say about a man of a guy? They say the worst audience that he has is his home. If you want to get anything accomplished, get away from them. Why? Because they know you. They know you are just like them. And they themselves would never try to do any great things. So who are you to try to do something great? You are the child, the unique child of the almighty power that is invisible. And that power lives in you. It allows you to think. It allows you to motivate. It allows you to get up and do something. It allows you to stand in the midst of the fire. In the midst of of the den. It allows you to stand. Why? Because it's righteous and it's connected to the truth. And so ladies and gentlemen, I come here to tell you that these people who have lost everything, who would give almost anything to be in any type of position that you're in, and yet there are those who riding high, playing Superman in the sky, floating around, just having a ball. They, they might have had some champagne, but they didn't show you that. That seems like you're having too much fun. And yet, not making preparations. I mean, FEMA can come in and do what FEMA can do, but can FEMA handle all of these things? Go back to Puerto Rico. Go back down to New Orleans. Things that were FEMA was working with never got done. And all this other stuff is adding up. So how do we resolve the problem? I've spent a lot of time talking about the problem. But how do we resolve? Here's the way we resolve the problem. I'm going to tell you the original plan. Here is the original plan. The original plan was this. Man is going to live on this earth. Okay. Now on this earth, it's like, you know, you, you got a cupboard, right? Where you put your goods. Uh, you store your... Yeah, whatever your items are that you use. I don't, I, I don't, I'm not too familiar with the kitchen, even though I'm in a kitchen right now. <laughs> but you got everything stored. Well, when the earth was designed, the creator knew that man was going to require a certain amount and certain things in order to 
survive throughout eternity, especially with the imagination that he's going to have. So the earth had all of the resources that would be necessary for mankind to accomplish all the things that he might have imagined. It was stored in the earth, the resources to accomplish these things. Some of it was in the earth, some was on the earth, some was above the earth. Some of it is seen and some of it is unseen. But see, at the proper time, when the imagination started working, whatever has got to be done to be able to recognize and extract and utilize these resources, mankind would have been able to do it because mankind is equipped by that same power that stacked the earth <laughs> to imagine the kind of things and to come up with how to do it. So what am I saying? I'm saying that everybody on the earth needs something from the earth to survive. <clears throat> to be fair, then everybody on the earth should, should participate in that process of causing a manifestation of all of these things that we've just mentioned. Mankind, everyone that's going to benefit, they don't have to benefit in everything, but it's there if you want them. There are those things that mean something to you, and it's there. It's nothing's there to hurt you, but to benefit you. And everybody's involved in the process of making it. The resources are free. You've got a career that you have chosen that gives you your greatest joy. You are three of pink to have the job that you get. You do work it for nothing, but you're not getting nothing. You know what you're getting by working that job? You're getting unlimited, unrestricted food, clothing, shelter, the kind you want, the kind you design, education and health care transportation, infrastructure, and the continuation of your imagination to accomplish anything. And your involvement in doing it, it is you, by the power of the Spirit in you, doing all those things. In other words, you have been hearing about heaven. You've been hearing about going someplace after you close your eyes and can't move. But you're hearing the message now about using your hands and your minds and everything that you've got while you are here with your eyes open to cause a manifestation of a place that you're thinking about going. Now you're creating it right here. So this comes as my solution. My solution is we've tried mankind. We've tried white and black because it's being tried now. We've tried men and women because it's being tried now. We've been tried, we tried capitalism, communism, uh, socialism, dictatorships, and every last one of them the same. So I propose, ladies and gentlemen, that we try to do the right thing. Let's try to do the thing that works for every last one of us. <clears throat> Think about it like this. Try to do that which works for you and nothing that works against anyone else. Just think about that. Now, that, that's just going to give you a little insight into some stuff. That's not going to really change you. Because everything that you are about is being represented about all around us. The thing of it is, what I'm trying to do right now is reach that inner spirit inside of you. I'm trying to reach that little bit of God that you still got breathing inside of you. Suffocated by all of the acceptors of the job that is not real. I'm trying to reach that God inside of you and wake that God up, resuscitate it, give it just a breath of life that it might start awakening in you and clearing that mist that you've got over your eyes and over your heart and over your spirit and allow you to begin to grasp a little bit of what love is about and cause you to dare to want more and get you off your, you know what, and say to all of the governors, we are not going for anything that's going to cause pain and suffering to anyone. Not just for our country. We don't want it for anybody because we, every nation, is interconnected. Just like we as people are interconnected here in America or in every other nation, we as individual nations are interconnected. And we need one another just like we need one another now. Right now, we're trying to use one another for money, for profit to be important, to be bigger, to have the biggest weapons, to have the greatest threat on life. 
Now own life. Let's have threat for life. Put that crap down. Let us start embracing one another. Let your people and our people start living. Let your people start rejoicing and our people re start rejoicing. <laughs> Let us sing hallelujah every day to one another. Let us smile and be glad of our neighbors across the street and traveling everywhere. Let us see the world and begin to live and put down this devil that's trying to destroy us. I'm asking you, ladies and gentlemen, to rethink this thing. Rethink it. Thank you. This is Eddie Marcus. Goodbye.